So this truck right here has always had overheating issues. The engine temperature constantly overheats. Then all the, all the, ra all the radiator fluid stuff uh, overflows out and then it just gets overheated even worse. And it's just a pain in the butt. And the transmission temperature is always overheating. We have a brand new, completely rebuilt transmission in this truck. And it's overheating as well. Um, and I'm, it's probably overheating because the engine's overheating and putting all that heat in and around all these cooling interfaces. So, what we did is we're swapping out the grill with this one. It's not going to have all the chrome in it and all the big pieces. So, hopefully, air will go through this a little bit better. And I bought these two fans off Amazon. They're like, I don't know, like 50 bucks for them. So, pretty cheap. And then, uh, my favorite part, got this rocker switch. It says fans or cooling fans and it's got two fans on it so it, it works perfect now i'm pretty sure it's backlit too so that's pretty cool so we're going to get all those mounted in here and hopefully those are going to help cool this engine down a lot better especially at low speeds um, the worst part is since we're towing you know 13 14 15 pounds with this truck we aren't going too fast all the time and it takes a while to build up speed especially with just this 2500 it's a 2007 model so um, if the wind is, let's say, going 30 miles an hour one way and you're going with the wind and you're also going 30 miles an hour, basically equivalent to absolutely no air going through uh, all the cooling surfaces. So, you know, it's just getting really hot. And not to mention, I had to build myself a little fan shroud. So that only goes about halfway around. The fan just isn't pulling enough air through. So hopefully this is going to work a lot better. And if the truck starts overheating, all you got to do is just flip a switch and... Uh, put those cooling fans on and it'll start cooling. Well, let's get started. So it looks like all these brackets we got to transfer over to this one and then it has these little clips I think we need to transfer over to. So this kit that I bought came with all these studs. So I'm just going to replace the top studs with these. Thank you. 
All right, so check this out. So this is what I got, the fan that came with these little clips and rubber pads. So this is gonna go on the inside, like this. So, you know, the grill will be on this side of the fan. Then, what they've got is these cool little springs. So these springs are gonna go right here on the back. This will keep constant tension on it. So there's one installed. I'm gonna put my own heat shrink on these. All right, I've got to make sure I don't screw this up, but we're putting the panel in right here. I think we got it. <clears throat> Heck yes. Okay, and I'll just pull this wire through. This is gonna be our power wire. All right, so I found a connector that'll connect up this, to this battery pretty well. So I'm pretty confident with this one. These pretty old connectors. That'll work. Stick that on there for a positive. Alrighty, and now we'll go ahead, reach down and grab our blue wire, which is our power output from the switch. And this will route to our fans. Black wire. I'm going to this guy right here. And then all 
all those gajillion wires are going to go down back onto this ground terminal. And yes, I know there's a lot of connections on that terminal. This truck needs a lot of crap on it. Not my fault. It needs all these things. And of course, it's starting to rain. I like that. That'll work. Uh, well, that feels amazing. That feels absolutely fantastic. So let's get this connected. Probably should have gone and turned that thing off. quite sure how that camera angle is going to work out, but we're just going to get rid of this. The best way I know how. Bam, never would even know. Well, we got her all finished up. I think it's a job well done. Basically, let me actually pop the hood for you guys. Um, show you exactly what we did. So we've got that rocker switch right there. And uh, so obviously power wires go from the battery straight to the rocker. From the rocker, output wire goes up here underneath the heat shield up there and everything's tucked back there our ground wires hooked right up there to what the um, what the grill mount is so if I were to drop this down there's the new grill I'll have to get used to it uh, compared to that other chrome one but this is gonna be a lot better for cooling absolutely no air restriction we got the fans so whenever whenever you get your transmission temperature to come up and you see you know it's getting a little bit too hot all you gotta do is just flip on the cooling fans the, see cooling fans that's probably my favorite part of the whole thing and uh come up here and see the fans running so not to mention whenever you're at a standstill let's say you can crank this ac up and it's gonna be ice cold from those fans. So we'll have to see how well those fans do as far as how much energy they actually pull out. Um, but we'll see how everything holds up. But for right now, I think this is gonna be a uh, job well done. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. The truck is running great, better than it ever has before. And the, and the cooling and heating problems are completely fixed now, so extremely happy with the way those two fans panned out and I mean really for only like 200 bucks that we, that we invested into it I mean actually yeah I mean the, the grill was like 150 and the fans was like 47 maybe ish I mean I, I guess that rocker was like a seven bucks so let's just say a hundred or two hundred ten dollars uh, invested in, into that cooling system and no problems at all so that's pretty good so it's definitely better than doing a whole bunch of stuff with the tranny coolers, upgraded transmission and all that. Uh, we're really only pulling 13 or 14 up to maybe 15,000 pounds. 
um, at max with that truck ever. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, if you guys like it, please hit the like button and the best way to support us is just to subscribe. So we'll catch you guys on the next one.